You can do it. These four powerful words, instilled in Mary Kay Ash as a child, fueled an unshakable confidence and belief in limitless possibilities. This belief carried her through childhood challenges, propelling her from a young girl of humble means with responsibilities far beyond her years to a sales phenom. But for Mary Kay, true success meant creating a full life. As a single mom and driven businesswoman, she believed women could have it all. And she taught her children that with enthusiasm and hard work, anything is possible. She would prove it. After years of being dismissed by male colleagues for thinking like a woman, Mary Kay doubled down on that strength. She not only shattered the glass ceiling, she built a ladder determined to help others reach their highest potential. She created a company for women to feel confident, beautiful, and connected with the support of her family and a dedicated girl tribe. This game-changing business sealed Mary Kay's status as an icon. And through her timeless legacy, Mary Kay continues to empower women to dream big and ignite success. Women fueled by four words. You can do it. Yay! I love that. I just love getting to see our founder and just, I mean, as women, right? Like if you leave tonight and you're like, I can do my makeup and I can do anything I set my mind to. So with that, you guys go ahead and put in the chat where you're from. I'd love to see what city you guys are from, who invited you. If you don't know how to use your chat, um, if you're on your phone, you will just touch those three little lines that say more. And then you're going to, it will say chat. If you're on your computer, it'll just have a little chat box. And so I'm super excited to just get to kind of see who's on here as we're, we're getting started. Let me pull up my chat box so I can read with you guys. I'm from Springfield, Missouri. Um, yes, Tori, Victoria. Also, I think you go by right. Tyler, Texas, Los Angeles. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys. So exciting. It's not fun that we can like on a Monday night be in multiple different States, but like all together. Um, let's see, Oklahoma, California, Palmdale. Love that. Lufkin, Texas, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Okay. I am so excited. Oregon, Oh my goodness, someone count the states that we just got in and let's put it in there because that is some fun stuff. All right, so we're going to dive in to, let me go ahead and move this to where I'm in speaker view for our uh, recording here. Let's see here. So we're going to jump into this new year latte look. You might have the look, it is a possibility from our last makeup session, so it's totally okay. You can still follow along for the most part. There's not going to be much changes, just slightly different colors. But the new one we have here is this neutral latte new year look. And we wanted like some clean, easy colors for your makeup repertoire that you need all the time. And we're going to dive into some of those tips and tricks that are just going to make application and all those things so easy. Oh my goodness. Eight states tonight, you guys, eight states. I think I'm making new goals of how many states we're going to reach on each zoom coming up. Cause that is so cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is on the back of there, you're going to have some foundation primer. Okay. We're going to want to grab that first, your foundation primer, that pink little square right there. You're also going to be seeing some other little squares that are gray or black. And those ones are going to be your foundation. And before we get crazy with your foundation, we want to do some swiping in case you have a couple just to double check that we're okay with the color. Melissa was mentioning that the, the primer might be in a different bag, which is perfect in the main bag, but we are just looking for the one that just looks like this foundation primer. And then I don't have it near me at the moment, but these other little square ones that on the back are going to say their color. So it might be a CC cream. It says like light ivory or medium to deep or, um, you know, light to medium. It could be a, our matte foundation or our luminous foundation. Those are going to say things like ivory with a letter and a number or beige or bronze. And so if you do have a couple to try, you barely need a little bit. And you will tap it into this area of your jawline right here. So you can still see it, but we wanna be able to make sure it blends in from the chin to the neck. And so I just wanna make sure you're loving that before we put it all over your whole face. So that way if we need to make any serious changes, we definitely can do that. Make sure you're writing down a note 
of what is your favorite color as well. So as we're testing those colors, as I'm giving you guys a second to do that, we I'm just gonna talk about some different foundation options. We have our CC cream that you might have gotten. That's gonna be more of a lightweight, sheer coverage yeah. foundation. Comes in five shades. You can throw it on, run out the door, super easy, hydrating. CC cream for complexion oh, corrector. Go ahead. Oh, maybe it wasn't me. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, here, I will, will, can you help Melissa? Thank you. Okay, so we have our CC, complexion corrector. Then we have our time-wise anti-aging foundation. You'll notice on yours, it either has a purple stripe or a pink stripe, if you have one of these time-wise foundations. Purple is a matte foundation. This is gonna control your shine and your oil production in your face. This is great if you have a tendency to break out. This is the only liquid foundation I can really wear and not have any breakouts. If yours is a pink color, that's a luminous, that has jaboba in it. So that way you're gonna be more hydrated and glowy. It doesn't mean sparkly. It just means it's gonna be perfect for your normal to dry skin. So we are just testing that there on the jawline. When you have your color, when you feel good about it, a little goes along way too you might have got a little bit out and you're like whoa I just covered a whole section of my face because that is so concentrated okay so go ahead and put it in the chat once you feel like you've gotten your color matched um, so that way we know that we can move forward with um, our next steps there you don't want to go again all over your face because we want to do primer underneath we just want to make sure we have the right color so I definitely see some of you testing in there which is great yay and I might even I've been playing with this idea all night. If I'm going to do CC cream on one side and my mat on one side, so you guys can all see the difference. Um, perfect. Good to go. Becky says, yay. All right. So as you are getting matched, um, if you are already matched, we want to go ahead and find that foundation primer. Okay. This is going to be your best friend because I always tell people, if you're going to take the time to put foundation on, you might as well keep it on. This is going to be a SPF 15 in here as well. It's going to help to mattify the excess oil on the skin. And it's going to really help your foundation to not get stuck into your pores and make it look silky smooth. I have seen people pay a lot of money for foundation primer, exorbitant amounts. And ours is only 20. And it lasts you guys for a minimum of six months. So this is going to be your like go-to primer. So once you have that beautiful silk all over your skin, as you're maybe continuing matching and looking at that and getting your primer on, I'm going to share a quick video showing you what our under eye corrector does. You didn't get a sample of this, but I'm just going to show you the difference of how it brightens that under eye of something you might want to add in with your foundation. So let the ocean All right, so that is our under eye corrector. If you start seeing some things that you may not have a sample of tonight that you wanna keep track of and you're like, oh my goodness, my under eyes need that, go ahead, get your pen, get your paper, get your sheet out that we sent to you and let's just start making some notes so that way we don't forget, that way we can keep notes of colors and everything like that. And so boom, I just did our under eye corrector and um, there's an order of application. Yeah, so we want to do our foundation primer first. We're going to have that on. And then we're going to go into your foundation. If you did have a concealer or an under eye corrector, I like to do that before. You can also do it after. And then we're going to go ahead and start applying our foundation. I'm going to do one half CC cream, one half matte so you guys can see the difference. I like to put a little bit on the back of my hand. You are going to die for this liquid foundation brush. It applies everything so beautifully. I like to just take it, stipple that product all over like this. If you notice, I'm doing a pressing motion, okay, instead of swiping. And as it starts to dry, then we will do light strokes down. And when we barely have any product left on the brush, we're going to bring it down to that underneath in that jaw area. Your foundation should match enough that you do not need to go past this section right here into your neck because it matches 
enough. Okay. So again, I'm just going to do half one. So you guys can kind of see the difference and you're going to just do this all over. If you don't have a brush, you might have a sponge that we sent in your packet with you. So you can use that sponge right now. I promise you the coverage and the buildup you can get with this brush is exceeds your expectations. And this brush is only 14. On the other side, we are going to, I'm going to try the CC cream just so you guys can see the difference here. And um, again, the CC cream is so easy. You could just apply with your fingers. We're getting a much more sheer coverage with this CC cream, as you can see, really nice, beautiful glow has an SPF in it um, as well. So that way you're going to get that sun protection, really great hydration level for winter time right now, where it, we are just all drying out and we need a little boost of glow everywhere we can. Go ahead and get that foundation on your eyelid too. Sometimes we miss the eyelid and we want to make sure we get some really nice coverage on there. So that way the veins or dark circles are not showing through. So see, we have the CC cream on this side, really beautiful skin like glow. On this side, we can already see a little bit less shine, a little bit more coverage, can't really see through as much, both beautiful options. Now, as we are doing that, if you have your own powder, because we can't really send powder in um, samples, you can use it or you can just stick with your foundation for now. We have three different kinds of powder. So we have a pressed powder. I'm very fair, so mine's really light. And when I use a powder, I'm using this big powder brush and I'm tapping. Notice a tapping, not a buffing, a tapping to press in to the skin and really let that foundation sit right there. I'm gonna again do just half with this pressed powder on one side and I'm gonna show you the translucent powder on the other side, we also have a beautiful silky setting powder. It's extremely hydrating. It can be used as a foundation by itself or to set and give a little bit of extra coverage. So we see on this side right here, we have the matte and pressed powder on this side, still feels skin-like, breathable, um, but some nice coverage. Then we have a translucent powder. It's gonna come in a loose um, little jar like this. And we're just gonna tap it into the lid. And again, we're just gonna put it in there and then we're just gonna tap here too. So this is gonna take away shine. It's gonna set our foundation, but because it's clear, it's not gonna give necessarily any extra coverage. So if you don't want any extra coverage, but you just wanna kind of take any shine or not feel wet, you might love our translucent powder, okay? So we can see that side there with the CC cream and translucent and this side here with that time-wise. All right, so we have our foundation going. Yay, let me go ahead and get this off the back of my hand and my excess foundation. And while we are finishing up our foundation, I see some of you blending and finishing up. Take your time. We don't want to rush you. I'm going to pull up another fun video because we can't send brows in there. I'm going to send, I'm going to share a little video real quick of tips showing two products that you might love to do brow application. So let me go ahead and pull that up for you guys. A lot of people ask how I do my brows. So here we go. Using the corner of your nose as a guide, straight up is where you should start. Over the iris is your angle, and of the corner of your eye is where your brow should end. So we're going to do a really solid line underneath to create the base of our brow and check it. For the first corner, I like to do nice little lines going up and down to mimic the hairs. And then for the last three quarters, create another strong line to get that nice arch and fill it in with little strokes to mimic the hairs. See the big difference? My personal favorite is our volumizing brow tint. This is going to go in and grab all those hairs to make it look even more real. It's going to tame the unruly ones or it's going to help if you barely have brows. And here we see the difference. Yay. Okay, you guys, brows make such a difference. I got one colored in, one not. I'm naturally blonde. It's going to shape our eyes. So um, I'm going in with our brow definer pencil. If you like to do your brows as well, you could grab a pencil. You could grab whatever you're kind of using here and just do that. This comes in five different shades. But what I love about our brow pencil, and again, I know this isn't in a sample for you guys, is how thin 
It is how it does these hair like strokes, um, how it doesn't budge and it comes in blonde, dark blonde, brunette, dark brunette, and almost um, a black color. So we can really match your different hair color tones. So let me go ahead and make sure I'm reading the comments here, not leaving anyone behind. Um, the brows look hard. It just takes some practice, but we can definitely, yes, send you that reel so you can watch over and over again. But the important part, you guys, is you're using your natural features on your face because everyone has different sizing and placement that that tip in that video is going to help you do them according to what's going to match your eye shape the best. Okay. So what, if it feels hard and you don't want to draw them in the volumizing, look how itty bitty beautiful this little wand is. Let me show you compared to a mascara wand. This will just grab your hairs, put them in place, give you a little color and not have to draw them in if you don't want to. So see how tiny that is compared to the mascara wand? That might be perfect for you if you're just starting out with brows because you just literally can brush it through and it keeps them in place. Okay, so we're gonna dive in to our eyeshadow together and I'm gonna show you in our little compact here, um, everything is gonna be right here, okay? So in this perfect palette, I love this, they're magnetic. Look how we can just pop them out real quick. Boom, just took out that whole little eyeshadow. Boom, can pop it right back in. So as you run out of things in here or you wanna change different colors for the different season, this is literally, it's called the perfect palette, but it's the perfect palette because you can switch things out of all different sizes. So these are the eye colors we're gonna do right now. So we are gonna find on your sheet here in the middle, hazelnut. We're looking for hazelnut. There's a little plastic edge on these. Just peel those off. <clears throat> you can peel them all off right now if you want to. And if you have it, and if not, I want you to be writing down the brushes, making notes of the brushes you need, because sometimes brushes are just what make the biggest difference. It's like tools in your kitchen, you know, like how you need a certain knife or a certain pot to cook something. Same with brushes. You need a certain brush to get a certain outcome with your makeup. So this one right here, the blending brush, this is your best friend. This is going to make you not have to have those harsh lines. It's going to be soft. And so we're going to take a blending brush if you have anything like this. If not, we put those little sponge tip applicators in there and you can use that for now. We can just blend that with your finger and we're gonna go into hazelnut and notice how if you're using a blending brush, we're putting the tip in there right there. We want it all on the edge of that brush. And I'm gonna create my crease with this hazelnut, okay? So I'm gonna go from my outer corner, just kind of going back and forth of how high and finding your brow bone or your, your, sorry, your crease bone. You feel that right in there? So you want to go right up to that. You want to go higher than you think sometimes. People like to go a little lower. We're going to go a little higher and we're now going to bring it in, just kind of windshield wiper in, okay? About two to three quarters of the way into your eye right there. And we're just getting this little C-like shape right in there okay now once you feel like you have enough product as far as darkness you can even go back in once you've created that area and just kind of tap it over to increase the darkness we want to wipe off your brush onto i normally always have a towel or a paper towel or something next to me you want to wipe off the excess of any product on that blending brush make that clean so we can go around to this outside now and gently buff back and forth to make that have a soft line. See how that just softened it and just made it blend so easy when we have a clean brush. So hazelnut is a really, really cool color. And I learned this before I was a Mary Kay and I was a makeup artist at Matt Cosmetics a long time ago. When you have a brown color like this, you can still do it first with any color you use because it's going to help the transition to blend and look airbrushed like um, as far as blending goes. So this is your go-to blending color and or perfect just skin tone color. Now, if you're a little bit darker toned in your skin, you could also use our color Cinnabar, which is a little bit more depth of brown if you need a little bit more darker than this hazelnut. So we're just doing the other eye now. We started at this corner 
going right to where we want into that um, crease bone in there. And then we're just coming around and we're going about two thirds of the way in. Why do I stop about two thirds of the way in? I have hooded eyes. So if I go all the way in, it's gonna close down my eye versus out on this outer edge, keep them open. Now, again, we're cleaning off that brush once we place that product and we have enough. And we're gonna go around this outside gently with that clean brush and just do some windshield wipers just on the outside edge of that, just to kind of blend in and make sure it's all really soft and pretty, okay? So I'm gonna show you that with our next color, you could be done a dash out the door eye look with just these two colors, but with the third, it's gonna boost it up if you wanna do a little bit more depth or nighttime, okay? So once we have that hazelnut, let's finish off real quick with the hazelnut because we're gonna put it in one more spot. And I use this hazelnut every day in this spot, no matter the colors I'm using. I'm gonna use our smudger brush here. It's a little tiny baby one. If you're using your applicator, you're gonna use the edge of it. Okay, like on the tip of it or the edge of it. And I'm gonna put this right here on the edge, right here, this little smudger brush. And I'm gonna go right in my lash line. And I'm gonna go about three quarters of the way under. This is gonna help our eye look to connect to the bottom and not look top heavy. Give us a little bit of depth, but not be a crazy smoky eye. It's very subtle. And we're just doing it right up in those lashes. Doesn't have to be thick. And again, only about three quarters of the way in. We want to keep this inner corner bright. Okay. So we don't, we're, not, we're going to do something else there in a second. So we just brought that underneath just a teeny bit there just to kind of bring it together. All right, next color, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Moonstone. It's that lightest one, the very first one right there. This is a beautiful highlight color. This is a beautiful shimmer. This is a staple in your makeup bag, okay? Um, of a color that you need that you can use for so many things. If you have a flat brush or you have your um, applicator that we put, we are gonna want a clean side of your applicator and or a flat brush. If you notice how this looks like this, it's pretty flat, has a good space to work with. Notice how I put this one. Um, after hazelnut, we're doing moonstone. We're doing moonstone now, Addison, and that's the only other color we've used, so you're not behind, so you're perfect. Okay, so we're gonna use um, our flat brush and we're going to see how I put this straight across it and I'm going to smudge it, smudge it, get her in there. Look at my brush. Look at how all of that there is really packed on. But then we're going to do a little trick as even if this is on your sponge tip applicator and you smudge the side of that, just take your finger and tap it like this. Just one little tap. Any excess is going to float off so it's not coming down on your face. Okay, now we are gonna press. Say press to yourself in your bathroom. We're not gonna swipe, we are pressing. And we're gonna go in this inner corner right here and your lid and we're gonna press all on your lid. We can tap or press, we are not swiping ladies, we are pressing. Okay, so see how that just pressed in that product right there? Boom, brightened up that lid, gorgeous. Okay, nice, easy, really pretty. If you don't want a shimmer, you could replace this with biscotti. Same creamy color, but no shimmer if you don't want a shimmer, okay? So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna get all that product onto that thing. We're gonna just do a little tap, get that excess off, and we're just pressing into the lid, into the lid, right up to where we did that crease. Boom, brightening her up, making her happy. And then we're gonna do a little trick in this inner corner. We're gonna take our brush or our sponge tip applicator and now we're not going like this anymore into it. We're taking our brush and going like this so I can use the tip of my brush. It's on the tip like this. And I wanna get in this inner corner. So we're just going a little bit down there in that quarter we didn't take the hazelnut and a little bit right here. It's in where the bridge of your nose stops and we're just getting it in this area. We get really dark in this area. We are brightening her up and we are gonna say, hey, we just had a nap and I look really awake now, okay? So we're just doing that right there, 
boom, in that little inner corner, brightening that up, both sides. Okay, yay, pretty. So you could be done right now. And like you had two colors and va va boom, and we could put some mascara on. But we have one more color, so I wanna show you how to use it and how to just kind of deepen everything up, okay? So we are gonna take a blending brush again. Let's make sure it's clean, just in case we didn't remember to clean it after, or we are using a different side. Those sponge tip applicators have four sides or just another one, okay? So we're gonna use that clean. We're going into espresso. Espresso is this dark matte brown. I'm so excited, you guys, because on Monday, y'all have entries anyways. We are having our customer giveaway. The reason I'm randomly bringing it up right now is because we have a special guest speaker who is specializes in colors. She does it with, with clothes. Have any of you seen that where they, they can tell what tones of colors look best for you and what clothes you should be wearing? She's going to apply it to what colors are best suited for you for your makeup and for your clothes for the new year. She normally charges loads of money for a consultation for this. And she's going to come on and speak for free for 30 minutes about what is best for your coloring so that you look gorgeous. Okay. So why I bring this up right now is this brown mat that we're using right now, very cool undertone. Maybe if cool undertones aren't your tone, put a little note, you might like our um, mahogany. Instead, that's going to be a warmer, deeper brown. So just know you have options at the end to chat with your consultant and say, I think I like warm tones better than cool tones, okay? Or I want options. So we're going into this espresso. Just a little tip of that. And yes, the seasons thing. I I can't wait till she comes on. Okay. And we're going to just do this like a little V just in the corner. We're not going as far. So I just went up a teeny bit in that espresso. And then a little bit right here. Notice I'm stopping at about where my arch is. Okay, about where my arch is right in there. And I'm stopping a little bit underneath where that hazelnut went. The hazelnut went up to here. I'm going a little bit lower. You can play with it however you want. I'm just not looking for like a crazy dark look right now. And we're just tapping it in that corner. And we're just giving a little pop of like sultry, a little dark, a little like, oop, we went to evening. Same color palette, didn't have to do much. And we're going to come over here and do the same thing. Just this little V right in here. Boom. Yay. Okay. And then if you want to clean your brush, this is a really important time to clean your brush once you've applied that because we don't want to create mud by over blending, but having a lot of product on there and going, shoot, that went way darker than I anticipated. Okay. So you really want to clean that brush out. If you have a clean brush or a clean side of your thing, now you can bring it back and just gently go over that area and just make sure it's all blended in to make sure it looks soft and not patchy. Okay. But it's got to be clean. See, I almost did it. I almost did it. And I didn't clean in between eyes. So you got to clean in between eyes, okay? And you're just going to do that. All right. Now, we can take the smudger brush or the side of your sponge tip applicator and we can take it into that espresso using this little one again. And what if we just went a quarter underneath right here just to match it with that and create some framing around the eye? If you're really going out, you just go, you can go all the way underneath if you want, but just maybe a quarter, just a little pop right there. That could be fun. Okay. So yay with a little bit of a quarter of espresso under there. All right. So a couple of options for highlighting this upper brow. I know we only sent you three, but biscotti, a matte lighter color would be gorgeous up here. However, keeping your palette simple. You could just go in with this Moonstone clean brush, just the tip of the brush here. And what if we just go under where the arch of your brow is? Just right there, boom. Just to, what this is doing is lifting it up to make your eyes look bigger. Just a little tap underneath that arch where your arch of your brow is. 
a beautiful lighting point, just lifting those eyes and making us look awake, lifted and big eyes. Okay. So there we go. So those three colors, they can be used in so many different ways. That one is moonstone that I just did for the highlight up there, that lightest color that we had. And we just, I just used that right there. Yeah. Is it Yahida? Is that how I say it? Okay. I just didn't want to mess it up. <laughs> okay. All right. So I know that this did not come in your kit, but as you were, um, oh, we're going to do mascara. It did come. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to do some mascara. So go ahead and find your little baby mascara. That's our ultimate mascara. And as you're putting on your mascara, I'm going to play a mascara video so you can see all the differences of our different mascaras that we offer. So that way you can know which one is best for you because we do have so many options. Now, this video actually only shows four. I believe we actually have like six, but this will at least give you a great idea. So let me go ahead, you're over 50, get this pulled up here. Do you don't? Want and I'm going to share it in just a second, but be grabbing your mascara. And oops, let me make sure I can find it. Is this it? Let's skip that. Boom. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. But we're using our ultimate mascara right now. She's happy. She's volumizing. She doesn't, uh, I, I'm going to pause her till we're ready. And she uh, does not flake. Okay. So that's beautiful. Oops. I accidentally stopped the share. Let's get her back. And um, I'll go ahead and play this video for you while you are getting that mascara on. Mary Kay has a variety of mascaras that create volume, add thickness, lengthen, condition, and strengthen your lashes. Let's take a look at four different looks. Place brush at root of lashes and use a back and forth motion as you work the brush along the length of the lashes. Follow up by rotating the brush 180 degrees as you sweep from root to tip to help the dual brush zones work through the lashes. Lash Intensity Mascara is my favorite. It adds thickness, volume, making my lashes look longer. Pull the wand straight out of the tube without swirling or pumping. Place the brush at base of lashes and sweep up from root to tip. For longer, fuller looking lashes, quickly reapply one or two additional coats. I love Lash Love Mascara because it leaves my lashes feeling healthy and soft. Pull the wand straight out of the tube without swirling or pumping. Place the brush at base of lashes and sweep up from root to tip. For longer, fuller looking lashes, quickly reapply one or two additional coats. Lash Love Lengthening Mascara is awesome because it lifts, curls, and perfectly separates my lashes. Pull the wand straight out of the tube without swirling or pumping. Lightly brush mascara back and forth across the upper lashes, starting at the base of the lashes and working out. Then brush on the lower lashes, lightly brushing the tip back and forth across the lashes. Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara is the best because it doesn't flake, clump, or smudge. Find the mascara that's right for you. Contact your Mary Kay independent beauty consultant today. Awesome. So today you use the ultimate. 
but we have that va va boom lash intensity we have a fanorama we have waterproof um we have all the things okay so that's where you get to connect with your consultant and say this is what i'm looking for and then we get to get that so while that was happening i did contour on one side of my face so you could see the dramatic difference again we don't have samples of this but as to why you are going to want to get some contour so notice this side we have some warmth we have some cheeks Okay, look at this side, nothing, <laughs> just flat. Okay, so contour is super important. So you wanna make sure you connect and we could add in a little contour there. So I'm just going ahead and finishing just in that hollow of the cheek there with our latte. It fits in this perfect palette. Um, I'm doing a little bit on the hairline if you have it. Um, today you have a blush though, which is gonna be perfect. So we're gonna do that just on um, the apples of your cheek. I'm just doing down here on my jawline a little bit just to take away any double chin action. And so see how fast you can do that really, really quick just to add some coloring to your face, some warmth to your face with that. So let's go ahead. If your mascara is on now, we want to grab this shy blush right there. Shy blush, I think, is one of our most popular blushes that looks good on everybody. It's a mix of peach with pink with shimmer, brings life to everybody's skin. It's subtle, you can brighten it up. It's just gorgeous, okay? So we are going to use this blush brush, which I love because it's a three in one. And so if you're like, I don't want a ton of things, this can do your highlight, your contour and your blush. So you're gonna just go ahead, if you take your blush brush, if you don't have one, take a cotton ball right now. And where you're gonna want to apply your blush today, take where your arch of your brow is, if you look at that, go down. That is as far as you want your blush to go out is from the arch of your brow. You're going to smile. And at the apple of that cheek right there, following your cheekbone, we're going to push into that area of where you want your blush to go. So if you're kind of looking for the line, feel here, your ear, you feel that bone. You want to just, that is where your contour goes where it sucks in right above that on the height of your bone that's where we want your blush to go right in there okay and not going past the arch of that brow in there and then we're just going to blend it up into that side that beautiful glowy shy blush give our winter skin some life right now okay so we're going to do that on the other side yay just tapping that in. Now, if you ever get too much blush, like this side, because it was my second time and had built up in the brush here, see how it's a little bit more intense than this side? You could take an all over powder brush and gently go in circles that doesn't have any product on it and just kind of buff it out a little bit if you ever went a little too far. Okay. And that is going to be better than using your hands to wipe it down because it's just going to gently buff it and calm it down a little bit. If you went really far, like you're like, uh oh, do I got to start over? Then maybe put even some powder over it and you could tone it down a little bit if you ever needed to. Okay. And then as you're finishing your blush, we're just going to take this three in one brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of this highlight right on top, right, right there, just to give us a beautiful, healthy glow right now right on top and I like to take it down the middle of the nose and a little bit right above our cupid's bow right there just to kind of lift that lip a little bit so if you have a highlighter those are some places you could put it so again in this perfect palette it's getting your whole look in there three eyeshadows a blush your contour and your highlight if there's one of these contour pieces you feel like you wouldn't use, you could take it out and put three more eyeshadows down here. So if you feel like you need a little bit more variety, okay? So once we have that blush on, we are going to do my favorite lip gloss. Um, the last thing we did, yeah, yeah, I'm saying it wrong now, Yahida, is the blush. We did the blush, the shy blush. That was the very last thing we did on the apples of the cheeks right in there. And what we're going to go into next is right here, this unique mob lip gloss. As you pull that off, you need to actually pull this one off of the sample uh, sheet. The back of it is going to remind you of when you're opening like the back of a, a pill. You're going to peel that um, foil off the back. There's a corner that will flap up. So just go ahead and pull that back. Now, I believe 
everyone has one of these little lip gloss applicators. So you can put that in there to apply your lip gloss as well. This is called Unique Mauve. If you have ever needed a lip gloss that goes with any outfit that you can literally throw in your purse or keep in your car that looks good with everything, you have met her and she's called Unique Moth. <laughs> you can find about five empty ones in every purse because I go through them and then just hoard them and I don't throw them away just in case I could get a sliver out. So we're gonna put that on all over. It's super hydrating, not sticky, just such an easy, beautiful gloss. Now, I, a lot of the time, will match a lip liner under this. Unique Mauve, sorry. It's called Unique Mauve, not Moth. <laughs> Here, I'll type it in the chat so you can see it. Um, I'll do a lip liner over my whole lip that's a similar color with a little bit of gloss if you want even like the look to last a little bit longer, or this is just easy and you can really layer these. But when you feel it, don't they feel great? Mm, just so yummy, but not sticky. Doesn't taste weird. Makes me so happy. Okay, <laughs> so that is our neutral latte look. Um, of course, we can add in, you know, eyeliner and all the fun things that you can talk to your consultant about. Before I take you through our survey sheet, what's the survey sheet is going to be huge. We're going to do that together. But sending that to your consultant is going to help count towards this huge goal she has this month of being a part of her 30 faces challenge. Okay. So um, before we do that, though, I have a quick video to share with you. And I got the privilege of meeting this woman just last week. Um, she was at our leadership conference getting to share her story. But this is just a teeny bit more about the Mary Kay opportunity. So if you're just having so much fun with your makeup, or you want to be able to get a discount, or you want to be able to make some extra cash right now, I want you to hear Adriana's story. Again, it's only three minutes, and then we'll just let you have a moment just in case you're finishing up some of your, your makeup right now. It'll give you the opportunity to do that, and then we're going to go through that survey together and then have time to, to connect with your consultant. So let me go ahead, make this big, and here we go. I started my Mary Kay business in 2017. Um, I got here to the United States with many dreams. Um, I am a doctor in my country and I feel a little bit frustrated. I uh, try to develop myself as a professional in the medical field. Um, even though I tried many things, um, Mary Kay got to my life in the middle of a divorce when I thought this was not even fun or I didn't have the time. Um, honestly, I met so many wonderful people that was for me very unbelievable to understand how uh, people could be uh, so happy by um, working while they're working. And then I decided after a year to give it a try. I have to say that um, I love my skin right now, but it used not to be like this. When I got here, I developed a very bad acne. And thanks to that, somebody offered me a facial. And that's how I, I knew about Mary Kay. And thanks to my wonderful national, his, his guidance and understanding, compassion, and passion. I love my Mary Kay business, and I truly believe that it's a spot for everybody who wants to give it a try. And you can give it a try. So fun. She was so sweet and did a whole sharing on how to do social media. Okay, guys, so we're going to grab that survey that came in your kit right here and um i've never had a lipstick or lip gloss match my lips is perfect oh i told you is it not the best one okay <laughs> makes me so happy um it just looks so good on everybody okay so we're gonna pull this out we're gonna start writing the answers on here so you can turn it in to your consultant okay so question number one is did you learn something new okay i want to know even if it was a video was it maybe something i talked about what did you what is your favorite makeup tip that you learned today that you're excited to keep doing that is number one number two as you're in the motion of probably thinking about that what was the favorite product you tried today what is the favorite product you tried today? 
And it could also be something you're really interested in trying. Maybe the under eye corrector we showed or brows, or you maybe want to do some contouring. It doesn't mean you got to try it today. It could be something you're just really excited about seeing. So you can write that down. Number three, what spa experience do you prefer for your next session? I'm going to go ahead and actually pull this up and share this while I'm doing it, just in case I just kind of like had a thought that if you like are not seeing what I'm seeing, we can all make sure we're on the same page. Okay. Um, what spa experience do you prefer next? Okay. If you've never had our skincare session, that's going to be an anti-aging skincare system. You get to do an exfoliation treatment or charcoal mask. All right. Yay. If you've never done our luxury hydration, this is going to be more for deep lines and wrinkles. Uh, this is going to be getting to do a glycolic acid uh, exfoliation treatment and try some amazing nourishing treatments and hydrating treatments. So go ahead and circle if you haven't had a chance to do one of those sessions, which one you would like to do for your free follow-up session. And then before we answer number four, we're going to go ahead and turn this page over and we're going to look at the set sheet behind here. Um, now we do have some options because if you're like, oh my gosh, I love everything. I, the whole look has to go together. I can't get it separate, Brie, but my, my fake account doesn't say the same thing. We can do Klarna and or depending on the state you live in, because I know Massachusetts and uh, New Mexico, and I know, I think we have both today. We can also do Zip. And both of those options allow us to break any payment into four interest-free payments, which is really cool, okay? Um, so we have our catalog. Let's start at our flawless face, actually, okay? Let's start over here on the far right. Go back to the very beginning of our class and imagining our foundation setup. You would have your primer to make that foundation go on flawlessly, foundation of your choice, whether it be CC cream or, you know, the TimeWise one, to get the choice of your under eye corrector or concealer the powder of your choice and that liquid foundation brush so you get that flawless finish. Okay, so that is the flawless face that's going to give you everything you need to do your face of makeup. Now that one, put a one next to it, you guys, because with that one, you can get any one item in the glam bar half price. So let's just say if we're thinking about flawless face and you wanted a little bit more, you could do the other concealer or under eye corrector. So you have both. If you want to do different foundation looks sometimes, you could add on the CC cream and do the time-wise one, okay? So I love this customization. Now dash out the door. That is that palette I've been holding all night that is magnetic. What is included in this price is just the three eyeshadows and the blush that came specifically in your sample kit today. You don't have to choose those colors. You can choose any colors you want, okay? So you get to go wild. So you get the palette, you get the colors, you get an eyeliner, a mascara, and a lipstick. We use lip gloss today, interchangeable, same price, okay? So you can just get a lip gloss instead with that unique mauve. Now, with this one, you can also get one item half price in the spa bar. So maybe you're like, but I really did want a contour. Boom. Let's pop our contour into here and get it for half off. Okay. Then we have our Cadillac color collection. These are both of these collections put together. So we're not missing anything and you have everything that we tried today. And what is special with this one, if I can find it don't know where I put it right now so that's interesting to show you but I'll just show you the brushes is it comes with a free brush set so it comes with that little kit that holds it but let me show you the brushes that are included in it that we did today you would get the powder brush to do your all-over powder or silky setting powder you would get the three-in-one cheek brush that does your highlight contour and blush you would get the smudger that I use to do underneath the eye, you would get the all over eyeshadow brush that we use to do our lid. And you can do so much with that one. And you also get this angle brush. I did not use that today, but that really helps if you have a hard time doing your crease, that angle brush. So you would get all five of those in there, which is really fun for free. So that's a 58 $55 value or something like that crazy with your Cadillac collection. Plus you can get any three items in the spa bar half price. Now I think I need to add this, or I mean the glam bar. I think I need to add this to there because y'all need to write this down because it's not on there and it's a staple. There are some other brushes in case you feel like you're missing out. The blending brush, it's 
It's is it 12 or 14? Someone look it up for me. That's in Mary Kay. Okay, put it in the chat. But this one, I'm telling you, you need the blending brush. This could be a half off item. Just write down blending brush if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to forget that one because this one really helps to get a lot of your eyeshadow to look the way you want it to look is that blending brush. It is a key, key piece. Also, one of the brushes that we might have not really talked too much about, but if you want it for concealer or under eye corrector is this cream color brush. It really helps to blend it all in. So just make some notes of those. Thank you. Blending is 12. All right. So that could be a little add on brush. Okay. So we are going to go ahead in the questions on the other side. Number four, out of those three sets, which one appeals to you the most? Is it the um, Cadillac? Like you need your whole look? Is it the dash out the door? You're loving the makeup and the glam? Is it the flawless face? Now with the Cadillac, I forgot to tell you, get some half off items. Put a two next to that one because you get any two items in the glam bar at half price with that one. And you get all the exceptions. And you can like also become a Mary Kay sales director and earn free cars and not know the prices of anything. Okay, so you too can do this. All right, number five is would you be open to doing some leadership training with your consultant? What that looks like is you jump on a quick call. You get to dream about your life. You get to ask some cool questions. It helps her with her training. You learn a little bit more about Mary Kay. Is it for you? Is it not for you? We don't know. You get a free lip gloss or a mascara. Okay. She probably has a goal to do 10. She gets a cute charm if you do it. <laughs> so just make her happy. Um, and then number six on a scale of one to 10, What's your curiosity level in the Mary Kay business? One, thank you for inviting me. I love doing the makeup workshops. I'll be back when you change the colors. I love being a, a customer. 10, I think I need some like extra cash. I want a discount. I mean, it's only 35 bucks to start a Mary Kay business. Why not? All right. So go ahead and circle your level of interest there. Yay. All right, you guys, I'm so, so excited with this look. Everybody looks so beautiful. I'm going to turn you over to the consultant who invited you, and we're going to get you into some breakout rooms with them. So that way she can connect with you. She can book your follow-up session. She can make sure to keep track of what foundation color worked for you if we need to find another one and what goodies you absolutely loved. So let me see here. Let me open up these breakout rooms and start moving people along here. 